Hello, Mimi here with another crafty tutorial. I have decided to do a tutorial on the flip through junk journal that I have recently done. Had a great time doing it and I am going to do a Easter spring theme with this one, these two here particularly. And this is just showing you some of the beautiful scrapbook paper that I'm planning on using, picking up on the pinks and the greens and the Eastery colors. And I'm um, going to use some washi tape on the uh, where I actually take and fold them to kind of reinforce them a little bit. And I have already, I've got three here. These are six by nine class brown craft envelopes that I'm using. And um, I have creased them, folded them over, and creased every one of them in half. And uh, have taken and used um, some Tim Holtz. Oh, uh, I can't think of the name of it, of course. All of a sudden, in my brain's just fro frozen up. Uh, the Tim Holtz um, staining stuff and put around them uh, just on the edges there because I think it makes it look better and more vintage like and uh, I tend to do that on all my projects so kind of do that beforehand uh, before I'm actually going to glue all these together so the, the idea of this is you make a long flip um, over it's kind of it's kind of like the trifold that I do um, but it's you flip it over quite a few times so um, it really makes a cute uh, junk journal. I really think it's a fun type of junk journal, something a little different. Um, yes, there's these have been made for years and years, but uh, this is just my take on it. And um, I really, like I said, enjoyed doing this. And I thought this would be a fun, quick little project somebody might be interested in doing. So um, like I said, if you're, um, you like doing these little junk journals like this, it's just a fun, um, different one to do and it's not that complicated. That's why I liked about it. Um, I use my stick glue on the, putting it together. Uh, you could definitely use any glue that you prefer, but I chose to use the stick glue. Um, this is some pretty good scotch, I think is the brand that uh, I bought this from Amazon and I really kind of like it because it's, it's pretty, it sticks pretty well. So, um, I am getting the folders stuck together. And like I said, there's three folders here, six by nine. Uh, these are the brown class folders that you can buy at Walmart or the dollar store. Very cheap, you usually get, I think there's six come in a bag, um, something like that. And you take, I took my clasp off of there. Um, I just took them and pried it off and they came off pretty easily. Uh, you could leave them on, but I just decided to take them off and it'll all get covered up anyway with scrapbook paper. So I have, um, it's kind of like an accordion to me. And I've taken the washi tape and reinforced on the places where I've actually folded it up. Took some fabric tape glue because washi tape tends to not stick very well. Um, I had to actually work on this a little bit. Uh, I, I like washi tape, but I don't like it. And if anybody knows a better way to put it down, please tell me. Uh, I always tend to, it tends to want to come back up. I don't really, I mean, there may be a better technique to do. I'm not for sure. I guess I need to YouTube it. <laughs> Just like everything else, all you got to do is look on YouTube, right? And you can find anything out that you want to know. But that's kind of what I did. And like I said, I um, reinforced um, on both sides. Uh, and I just think it kind of made it um, ho hold up a little better. And just took some coordinated washi tape and stuck it on all the folds. And I think uh, you will um, find that that works pretty good. You could probably use lace or, you know, even ribbon. I think ribbon would work good too. Uh, that might be what I try next time is, is put ribbon down on there and uh, use the, the Fabri-Tac glue. I might like it better. Um, anything that would kind of make it um, a little, you know, more um, sturdier. You could even take your scrapbook paper probably and use it. So 
um, just kind of, you know, make some, um, cut some strips up and put them there, or just make your scrapbook paper, you know, longer if you wanted to cover it up. But these, the way these uh, have little slits, you'll see there um, where I'm putting the Fabri-Tac glue, there are like little, you make pockets out of these. So that's one reason why I didn't want to put the scrapbook paper over, over the whole thing, because it does make some cute little uh, pockets that you can use to, to add more of your, your journaling stuff. So there you go. I have um, taken all my washi tape and put, put it on all the folds. And this mainly is gonna get covered up. There's only gonna be a little bit showing with the scrapbook paper I'm gonna use. So um, you don't really even see it. Okay, I have taken six um, scrapbook papers, coordinated colors. You could use all one color or whatever you wanted to do. But these are um, five and three fourths by one, four and three and one third. And you may have to kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, it depends on how much you want of the craft paper to show the envelopes to show on the edges. You can completely cover it up or you can let a little bit show. I chose to let a little bit show on the edges. And, um, but you kind of have to play around with the, the lengths and the, the cuts um, because not all these are exactly the same when you buy these um, envelopes. So I'm sure the, the sizing is going to be a little different. Just play around with it. That's what I had to do. And uh, just use my glue stick again to put it down. And uh, I did kind of go over the corners with the Tim Holtz stain again. I think I used, I kind of, I like Vintage Photo and the Walnut Stain. So I kind of use both of them a lot of times. And I kind of go over the edges of that with, um, with it and sometimes I do it beforehand and sometimes I do it after I glue it down. But this really, you know, as I said, it, it's a really a fast project to do. Um, so if you're interested in doing it, I suggest it's just, um, you know, just try it out. I mean, you could even do it with just two envelopes. You don't have to use three. You could even do it with one envelope and just make one signature. I actually am going to sew in a couple of signatures in this journal. Um, I did this because I want some writing space in there and um, you know the one that I had seen didn't have any um, signatures in it any writing paper in it so but I chose to put that in there so that's kind of an added feature that I did um, to this project and like I said again this is just a fun thing to do um, you know get Get, hap get scrappy happy and get after it, you know, just cut up your scrapbook paper and you, you can just, I mean, I, I can't wait to make some different ones. I've got some ideas on, I want to do, uh, I've bought some, a lot of those ATC, um, those, I think it's two and, a half, two and a half by three inch ATC tags is what they call them. Um, I bought some Mary Antoinette and some ballerina ones. And I like that size to do this with. Um, I do tend to kind of use some bigger um, pieces of digital papers, but that's the, the size that I kind of do. But anyway, there you go. Look and see. I've gotten all these different beautiful scrapbook papers here. And um, see how pretty that just looks. And it just accordion folds up so nicely. And then it has this little flip there that I use, and I tuck that on the inside. And so I'm gonna show you how to put the, on the little fold there, um, I just cut out a piece that was, um, you know, just um, went around it and cut out a piece. And I used the, um, the glue, the stick glue again to put it down. And I just used some coordinated scrapbook paper to cover that up with. You don't have to cover this up. I just thought that it looked better that way, but it's definitely up to you whether how you want to do it. Um, I always say um, any scrapbook project that you do, you can always put your little take or your little um, what you know you want to do on it. Um, a lot of people like to do different things, so that's the way I look at it. It's it's all about whatever you want to do with your project, but. Um, Anyway, I am going to try to do some more of these up, and I've got some great ideas about doing them, and like I said, they're fun to do. 
I like them because they're kind of a smaller project. Um, the big junk journals, they do, they are a lot more time consuming. So I'm trying to do some smaller stuff and I'm having fun doing it. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And uh, I do um, enjoy doing everything that I do. I'm also working on a fabric journal that is just, I'm kind of doing this with this and I'll take and do a page of fabric journal and then I'll do work on this a little bit. So I'm kind of OCD in that area. I kind of do two or three things at one time and I don't know about y'all, but that's kind of the way I do my projects and I'll have this great big old mess in my craft room and and um, thank goodness my husband doesn't complain about it too much, but I do have a, a room that's set aside for that. So it doesn't get all over the house, but it is a mess and he'll come in there and say, uh, goodness, this is a mess in here. I said, you know what, though? It's a mess, but it's okay. I can clean it up in just no time. And he'll come in and be surprised at how fast I can get it cleaned up. But um, I do enjoy crafting, and I do enjoy making my mess in there. And even though I'm not a messy person, I tend to be a messy crafter for some reason. I find that really crazy. But I'll have everything pulled out and just the biggest mess everywhere. And I don't even know, lose half the stuff I want to use and I'll get so aggravated. But And sometimes I even put things up with um, scissors or, you know, something I was working on. It'll get stuck with something else and I'll be like, what did I do with that? And it'll be stuck somewhere and I'll just have to... I'll get aggravated and I'll just have to go walk away. And sometimes I can find it and sometimes I never find it. I don't know whatever happened to it. You know, it's just like it disappeared, like those socks in your in your dryer. They just disappear. I, I don't know where they go. But um, anyway, I really, like I said, enjoy doing this. It's a fun project. So um, just something different to do. Uh, that's the way I enjoy doing different things. Some people like doing the same craft all the time, but... I tend to kind of like to mix it up. So, like I said, I love doing dual, uh, working with dollies and laces and making fabric journals and um, just, um, I love doing the junk journals, the scrapbook journals, just the, you know, anything that's crafty, I enjoy doing. And um, so I kind of dabble in all of it. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but that's what I enjoy doing. So anyway, I got this all done. And I thought it um, really, like I said, the different um, scrapbook papers that I use really turn out good. They're gonna look good with my Easter theme. And here is some pictures that I have that I've already got cut out, ready to go. Um, gonna use a little bit of that um, beautiful paper doily there that I'm gonna use on the front. And I have taken, I've got two, um, digital downloads um, from TLC Create. She had a couple of Easter rabbit themed um, digitals that I used. And also I got a freebie from um, Calico Collage. Had a, she has a freebie, some freebies on her, actually on her website, not on their Etsy shop page, but her website. Um, she's got a freebie page and she had a, um, some Easter pictures that were free, and so I, I downloaded them, and they're really, really cute. I, I really liked all of them. I got some really cute stuff off of there. So if you haven't tried that out, you might want to look at her stuff. But anyway, here's some corner pockets that I'm going to put on there. These are fun to put on there. Um, I tend to try to put a couple on there, and also some belly bands. So I'm just kind of playing around, thinking, okay, what am I going to do? And um, I have reinforced these corner pockets with some um, file folders behind them. That's what I usually do, just to kind of give them some sturdiness. And here I am trying to work on my belly band, trying to decide what colors I'm gonna go with. And I come up with some different, I've described a paper I've put on there. So um, that's, you know, I think that's kind of fun to kind of take and coordinate some of your colors and use, use your scraps. That's the way I look at it. You know, I try to use, I save all my scrapbook paper and I use it as much as I can because, um, you know, unless it's just a real small piece, you know, you're, you'll be able to use it. So I always try to save most of my stuff because um, it comes in handy, and especially when you're working on small stuff. And... Um, 
So it, also I'm going to, I cut up some little mini cupcake holders and I'm going to make some of my um, little mini, um, I think I called them the popsicle sticks. They're gonna be so cute. Y'all gonna have to stay tuned for that because I, they really turned out darling. And um, I really, really like the way they turned out. And I used some of uh, Calico Collages. She had some eggs on her digital download that were so cute that I cut out and used on them. So they're gonna be darling. You're just gonna wait till you see them. All right, so I'm getting the file folders ready. Um, the corner pockets here. And I cut them. Um, I think two of them, I cut two and three fourths by four and a fourth. Um, let's see, for the rectangle pockets, yes. No, that's not right. The side pocket, the, the rectangle pockets, I think I cut them four and a half by four and a half with a three inch depth to them. So that's, I think, what I did with them. So, um, but you know, cut them whatever size you want. Um, that's just kind of what the way I cut them. Um, so I always say, um, a lot of times my measurements aren't going to be what you want to use. So sometimes it's better to just measure your own and come up with your own measurements. But um, that's the, the measurements that I, I came up with for these. And um, you could just make some regular pockets on these too. So, you know, just play around with it and, you know, you can do all kinds of things with these. But I thought these little pink pockets were, were cute. I had some, just some pink um, scrapbook paper. So I used that on there to kind of just get, bring some solid colors in there because I had a lot, of, a lot of different colors going on here. This was actually a scrapbook um, book that I got from, um, I think it's Bow Bunny is the the brand of it. I got it from t Tuesday morning, and I'm actually using it in the next few projects I'm doing. I love this paper. It's so pretty. Very, very pretty, and I got a good price on it Tuesday morning. I, they always have some really good deals on scrapbook paper. So I've been um, doing some eBay shopping. I've been... Um, bought a cup I got a couple of bids on some stuff and I actually want them and I'm so excited about it some got some really good deals on some lace and some um, doilies and stuff so I should be getting that in the mail this week and um, nerdy bit on some stuff on um, another lady um, I think her name's Donna Little she has some stuff oh my goodness I had to really hold myself back because I was like okay you need you need to stop buying stuff. So, um, I didn't do it. But anyway, um, I probably will be buying some stuff from her because she really has some good deals. But this is my dig uh, my um, signatures that I'm going to put in. And um, let's see. I cut my signatures. I took four to six pages, and I cut them um, the eight and a half width by, I think, five and a half length. That was the length of them. And I just kind of decided you could put three signatures in here, um, but I just chose to just put two in there. So um, definitely could it, it could handle three. So um, I figured that out, but I had already cut these up and I decided just to stick with my two. And uh, anyway, so I'm gonna get these sewed in. I actually sewed these in because uh, I think it kind of helps to reinforce again uh, a little bit start more sturdiness so um, that's what I'm going to do on this uh, is sew these in so I don't know anyway I am going to make two um, different um, tutorials on this I'm not going to be able to make um, but two because one is just too much, too much time. So anyway, thank y'all so much for watching, and I do appreciate it. And y'all um, stick with me on this because the finished product is going to be very pretty, and I am going to have these for sale in my Etsy store. And these pictures of my three-tiered Easter uh, creation I did, so y'all enjoy.
Thank you.